welcome to this uh, Vespian workshop. Uh, <laughs> together with uh, my team, we are planning to present you first the internal logistics, so meaning in mint logistics that is done by Mr. Yuta Hirsalmi. Then Aaron will uh, giving presentation of the industry 4.0. Mr. Rajakopal is giving a presentation of the packing, and then at the end I am giving the presentation of the means of opportunities to develop the logistical uh, delivery pipeline from the mill. But anyway, uh, please ask the questions. So feel, uh, feel free to ask questions, so we are more than happy to answer. And then, of course, if there is more detailed questions, so we are available at our kiosk there outside of the, uh, this, this hall. But now, welcome, you. I wanted to say uh, the world just recently learned that uh, India will invest in logistics and infrastructure $500 billion by 2025 to boost India's internal uh, logistics and the global trade. Uh, same development has been <coughs> obviously seen uh, in the industry where real logistics is considered very much a cornerstone for development of efficiency and quality of operations. Let me take you through some steps uh, how it can be done in steel mill level. It is uh, characteristic uh, that in a uh, traditional coal brown mill, coals are stored in several locations around the mill. Because it just is a fact that when hot coils come in, they are stored on the yard uh, one day after they come out of the cold cold mill. They again uh, store for a moment before getting into an healing or galvanizing. And before they get packed and loaded, there are several more storage coils. So, <coughs> Even if you have state-of-the-art processes, in this particular case, the cold road mill and the continuous annealing and galvanizing lines, there are uh, several processes that are manually controlled, and those can then result in inefficiencies, even if the mill overall is state-of-the-art process. Uh, CRM mill typically comprises processes from various suppliers. Uh, on top of the state-of-the-art CRM, that would be continuous annealing and, and galvanizing lines, coating lines, etc. However, the integration between the different systems 
systems can be a challenge. It can be said that uh, the overall mill efficiency to a great extent depends on how well the main processes are connected to each other. Um, one solution to this issue is to automate the buffer storages uh, and the shipment storages highlighted in the light blue on this overhead. So when the hot dog holes come in, they go to buffer storage for entering CRM and again they go through the same buffer storage when entering the other processes before getting, getting uh, in the packing line and in the final shipment storage. The waiting time between the processes escalates easily into very long production times. Here, I'm trying to simplify this by, in this picture by showing uh, long lead times between the processes, but it wouldn't have to be so. In a modern CRM, you can shorten the lead times between each process in order to make the total lead time much shorter than in the traditional CRM. Once the potential for efficiency increase has been identified, it is time to answer the question uh, how it can be done in terms of equipment and software. Uh, implementation typically starts from uh, the configuration process based on the mill's specific requirements. With the production data at hand, the mill's logistics can be simulated using 3D animation. The simulation model will also be the base for development of control software to manage the entire mill material flow. And this will ensure seamless material flow between the processes. The simulation study, in turn, uh, is used to build an actual working model of production. This image uh, shows a, a snapshot of such a, a study where the real values of, of the mill have been used. And, uh, and then uh, the layout can be discussed based on real facts, even if we don't have the, the mill available yet. So, this in the end will result in an optimized mill layout for the production processes, logistics and buffering functions, and guidelines for the control system. A modern mill logistics system consists of automated transportation carriages and an automated storing and retrieval system, ASRS. Um, the entity is typically fast and accurate in moments. It has a great deal of flexibility without limitation. It's fully redundant and last but not least, it's safe for the operators. In addition to the ASRS, the system includes two-way and four-way coil cars to have a uh, maximum capacity up to 50 metric tons. Uh, and speeds up to 4 meters per second. The coil cars come in several uh, variations and have extra features like turning and weighing. The ASRS can come on uh, one floor, well, one layer application as we saw in the previous overhead, or uh, like we see here, uh, multi story, high base storage as shown in, to the right. The same uh, ASRS can simultaneously serve as offering and sorting for work in progress and the finished goods waiting to be loaded onto trains and trucks. The building to cover the ASRS 
can be either rock, rock, rock supported cladding attached to the, to the structure or separate freestanding building. In train loading, the wagon uh, is first identified. Oh, sorry, that I'm ahead of my 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 my. Property. Modern mill logistics extends itself to automated loading of points. Automated truck loading starts by recognition of the vehicle once the order has been uh, carried out and then out by the ASRS, the call is prepared for loading. And finally the loading is carried out by automatic overhead trains, whereby machine vision or and laser scanning is used to make precise train movements. And now on to the uh, train loading. The wagon again is identified uh, maybe by RFID or similar system. And the loading instructions come from the yard management system. And the delivery order is again picked up and fed out by the ASRS. And coil cars using automated overhead trains, laser scanning or machine vision. This rendering tries to uh, show an example of a fully automated layout where calls are coming from the coal drawing mill, number one. They go to the uh, multi-story uh, high base offering storage, number two. And then from there they go to an Indian colonizing and finally packing and back to the high bay, the same, very same uh, the store before they enter the loading area. And all the movements here uh, of coils between the processes are taken care of by the various uh, number and size of uh, coil cars. And then finally, the uh, loading is done by automatic cranes. Uh, uh, Material flow power is an internal logistics concept for steel mills, whether coils, flat products, or wires. On top of the transfer carriages and the ASRS, it includes an advanced, advanced warehouse management system to control the entire material flow of the mills. And it's linked to the mills uh, ERP or, uh, or MES uh, manufacturing system. And all this is available as a turnkey delivery from one reliable source. <coughs> the benefits for the steel makers of implementing material flow concept include exceptional quality of end products, efficiency of the process and great potential for uh, increased profitability of operations. Next, uh, uh, I will uh, discuss a, a case, uh, Autopumpo Stainless. This is, a, uh, this is part of the Autopumpo Group. Then this mill is a 1.6 million ton of integrated stainless steel mill in Finland, very, very high north in Lapland, where currently there is so much snow that we really love to be here rather than in that cold part of Finland. Autobumpa had originally planned to build traditional floor stories for 2,000 cold world coils with a number of overhead cranes and forklift trucks. But the feasibility study showed that uh, the targeted level of automation and reliability of production would not be reached without a new way of thinking. So consequently, Autobumpa finally selected uh, material flow bar concept to handle all coils, both working process and finished goods. The buffer storage, which is a, a, a huge structure over uh, half a kilometer long, together with the integrated and redundant coil transfer, transfer system, is able to handle all those 2,000 coils that weigh uh, on an average 30 tons and load them on the trains. 
<coughs> this comparison just uh, shows how they were able to reduce the, the high base storage, to reduce the footprint of the storage to one third of what it would have been on the floor store. Also, instead of having 28 workers operating planes and four lifts uh, per shift, they only have one operator in the control room overseeing the entire process. This is how the ASRS looked like back in 2004 when it was constructed. You can see the, the stacker crane, one of the three being uh, installed between the racks and then you see the cladding that is not quite finalized but it's almost so this this was uh, taken over 10 years ago this this uh, schematic drawing below describes the flow of coils quite simply uh, coming in from uh, what well production uh, unload to the uh, ASRS and then from ASRS automatically to cold rolling, then again back to uh, to the storage, uh, same storage and then the packing and then finally automatic, automatic loading and this is the only uh, uh, offered storage that they have on the site and it will handle automatically the entire uh, traffic <coughs> Um, and uh, Autocombo stainless have been able to communicate to us that uh, they have been very happy with this uh, uh, delivery. It has been able to increase their sales between 10 and 50 percent. It's reduced uh, the total production cost between 6 to 9, 10 percent. It has reduced the capital tied to products between 20 to 40 percent. The, the space requirement, as, as I described earlier, is only one third of what it would have been uh, traditional layout. They have had no errors in deliveries since the, the startup, and they have even had uh, cash in faster, much faster now, so that they can invoice customers quicker. I have another uh, case here, closer to you, uh, back in 2013, JSW Steel, one of the leading integrated steel manufacturers in this country, started a fully automated material flow bar process in the CRM2 plant in Karataka. And the delivery included a high performance mill logistics system for handling the 2.3 million tons of steel on the CRM2 with the help of a state of the art yard management system. The system has an extensive carriage system for export load routing as well as automatic loading of finished products. And now I try to show you a short video on this by so oil cars all two way, four way are moving precisely, gently on the coils. Moving up to the speeds up to four meters per second. And here they're getting ready to, to uh, this is the pack coil going into the uh, high base storage.
the conclusions of my presentation. Uh, summary, smart material flow means efficient moving, buffering and loading of coils. Smart material flow in steel mill enable development towards increased efficiency, <coughs> improved quality, faster material turnover, shorter delivery times, error-free deliveries and safety for, for the employees. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you. 